ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Welcome to Reading Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here on day 19, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to apologize to each and every one of you for this morning. I literally was trying my best to upload this video. And for some reason, it was not taking, y'all. It was not uploading. It was saying 0%. Praise God. I don't know what was going on. But um, I did leave a message in the community section, just kind of letting you know that, hey, this uploading is an issue. Praise God. But to go forth in the word of the Lord, which was to be like that. And we're going to be like the servant with the 10 minus, praise God. Hallelujah. And the one, hallelujah, who brought back more. Remember, he brought back increase. And because he brought back more, hallelujah, he was given more. And that's just the way of the world, y'all. Praise God. The way that the Lord works is that if you are a good steward of, of what he gives you, a very little, what you'll find is over time, he'll add on to it and add on to it. But what I've learned in my uh, my consecration walk with the Lord is that sometimes the Lord will have you in the things that he give you to do. He'll also have you to let it go because it's time to let it go. Praise God. It's time for somebody else to take over and nurture it. So sometimes you plant the seed, but it takes somebody else to water it. And, you know, sometimes that person is watering the plant and they're taking care of it, but they don't get to eat the fruit off the tree. Praise God. And so sometimes you're in a season like that where the Lord will have you to do things and create things, but then he'll, he'll have you to pass it along. And so this is very new to me in this process of being, um, in the, in the, uh, function, well, functioning as an apostle, praise God, because the Lord is calling me into that realm of helping people build, helping people create, praise God, you know, giving them that lift, hallelujah, so that they can fly, hallelujah. And sometimes because I am a nurturing person, sometimes when I'm helping others, hallelujah, to just kind of lift off, you know, I kind of want to stay there and kind of see them fly. I want to see, you know, how high they will go. And I just want to be there to root them on, you know, and just kind of like, you know, be like one of the class of, of witnesses, praise God, along their path. But because God is calling me to journey along and to help others, praise God, he won't keep me in one place. And I've always wondered, Lord, like, why is it that he'll bring me into the position of being with this person, that person, that person? And every time I'm with somebody, praise God, it's like I'm a bridge. I'm helping them along. I'm helping them along, praise God. And then they'll get to where they're going or they'll, they'll receive the connections that they need to receive in order to grow, or they will receive the prophetic message and they'll stand on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever it is, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will let you know what your position is and how you are to uh, conduct yourself. And sometimes it doesn't feel good when you do have to let go. It's kind of like raising kids and you have to let them go, right? Praise God, hallelujah. At some point you do. And then you want them to make good decisions on their own, praise God. But you know, it's the way we raise them up. So if we raise them up the right way, if we raise them up in the word, praise God, if we raise them up the believing, God. They will stand on God. They will lean on God. But if we raise them up, hallelujah, to figure it out on their own, somebody might tell them the wrong thing. Someone might, someone might give them the wrong things to study, praise God, just out of um, possibly just not knowing, praise God, or it could be intentional. Either way, we want to make sure that we're doing our job with what God has given us to be good stewards over. And that's in, in little things, praise God. So as the man with the 10 minus uh, went about and he brought increase with those, hallelujah, the Lord is letting us know that we are going to bring about increase in what he has given us because we're being good stewards over. And I'm talking to the ones who are being good stewards. I'm not talking to the ones, hallelujah, who start something, stop it. Start something, stop it, praise God, hallelujah. You have to be consistent in this thing, even when it doesn't look... Uh, like it's going to be successful in your natural eyes. You know, those temporal views, praise God. Even when it doesn't look like it, praise God, you know what God says, so you're standing on it by faith. And you're moving in on what God is calling you to do, praise God, regardless of what it looks like. And that's what God wants. He wants your consistency. Because I'm telling you, in your consistency, you grow patience. In your consistency, you stand on the word of God for real. In your consistency, you start to listen. You're like, I'm not giving up, praise God. I know what the Lord said, hallelujah. And then we start seeing those things manifest. 
come to fruition, praise God. You're like, wait a minute, hallelujah. All that time I've been sitting and all that time I've been waiting and I didn't know it was gonna show up like this, praise God. But either way, Lord God, I thank you because it was better, it is better than what I could ever imagine in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's what God wants for you. He wants you to receive greater than you ever imagined. He wants that blessing to be better than you ever imagined. He wants you to enjoy what he's pouring out from the heavenly realm and it's greater than you ever imagined. I'm telling you this today, because the one who is a good steward over the very little will receive more from the Lord. That's the message, y'all, in the mighty name of Jesus. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is so good. He is ready to bless you beyond blessings. Just stay consistent in what he's giving you. Hallelujah. Don't give up on it, praise God. Even when it doesn't look like it, hallelujah, I'm telling you, that thing is big in the realm of the spirit. And it's going to bring back so much fruit for you and your household and for the people God is drawing to you, praise God. Those people you're going to touch with that very fruit, they're going to eat off your tree in the mighty name of Jesus because he's calling you to be a disciple in this time to speak the good news of him, hallelujah, which is Jesus Christ. Believe it and receive it, y'all, hallelujah. I'm so grateful for the Lord that he is mighty in all his ways and he has not forgotten about us. He is concerned about us, hallelujah. This is day 19. I pray that you have been consecrated, that you have been praying, that you have been meditating on the word, praise God, as you are reading the word, hallelujah. And in your prayer time that you waited on the Lord to see what he had to say to you. I'm going to go ahead and pick up with 1 Corinthians, praise God, uh, chapter 11, starting at verse 23. We're going to go ahead and do communion. I have my cracker here in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And it reads, for I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And he had, when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, thank you. Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After the same manner as also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, thank you, Lord, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for communion. Hallelujah. We thank you for the gathering and fellowship today, oh, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for telling us to be like the servant, hallelujah, who had 10 meanings, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to be like him, hallelujah, to bring back increase, oh, Father God, to go forth and do what you have called us to do, what we know we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. We're just going to do it, oh, Father God, in obedience to your call, oh, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for leading us and guiding us, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for showing Showing us the way. Thank you for lighting up the place. Thank you for bringing the veil off our eyes, the scales off our eyes so we can see, oh Lord God. Thank you for showing up. Smash. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence being known in the place. Thank you for your glorious presence, oh Father God. Hallelujah. We're so grateful for you, oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for building us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the chief cornerstone. Thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for being the highlight of our lives. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, for being the only choice that we could ever make. Hallelujah. You are salvation to us. Without you, we have nothing with you. We have everything. Hallelujah. We're so grateful to be moving in your ways. We're so grateful to be moving in your rhythm. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that you have chosen us to be concerned about. We're so grateful, oh Lord God, hallelujah, that you will protect us in all of our ways, that you will keep us sealed, hallelujah, in your presence, oh Father. Father God, covered, hallelujah, by your love, oh Lord. Hallelujah, we're so grateful for you, hallelujah. We give you all glory, honor, and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. May every single person who received this message be blessed, oh Lord God. And may every single person who hears this message, hallelujah, receive you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful for you, oh Lord God. I'm so grateful that your name resounds in the land. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are to be glorified. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful, Lord God, to be a vessel who can just say right now, today, that I decree and declare that you are my Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. For everybody to hear that, because I am a witness of Jesus Christ, and you are it for me in Jesus name. Hallelujah. We love you. We honor you. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus name we pray. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Show your love for Jesus Christ. Give him your love, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good and worthy to be praised. He is moving right along doing what he has called us to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's moving right along doing what he has called us to do. Praise God. What does that mean? Praise God. Hallelujah. All, everything that he has created is done. He moving right along, praise God. With the time he has set, with the season he set, he moving right along, y'all. Hallelujah. With the things he's called us to do. We just have to come forth because we are drawn. And we have to be obedient to the call. Hallelujah. Otherwise, he will choose somebody else because he's going forth doing, hallelujah, what he has called us to do, praise God. So either you're going to jump in and cooperate and be obedient to God, or he's going to just move forth in the call, and hallelujah. And someone else is going to jump in and they're going to be cooperative and they're going to be obedient to God. And they're going to pour out what God is telling them to pour out out in this time in this season praise god take your rightful position your rightful place in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah for we are on duty in jesus mighty name get to your duty y'all i love you with the love of christ i'll see you back at 6 a.m praise god in the morning hallelujah pray for my strength oh lord hallelujah hallelujah i'm telling y'all pray for my strength hallelujah in the lord in jesus mighty name be blessed with all that you are doing continue to stand on the wall and know that jesus christ loves you and i love you y'all be blessed y'all bye